So you want to start investing into real estate, but you're not exactly sure how you want to start investing into real estate. You could invest into the stock market where you buy real estate investment trusts on the stock market. And as the stock prices of those stocks go up and also you grabbing some dividend income, you'll be good to go that way. Or you could go the route where you actually go out and buy some real estate. This involves you getting pretty much a down payment for a home or an investment property. Also having solid credit to go and do that and a couple of other factors and actually being a property owner or a property manager or anything like that. You can go that route or you can go the route where I'm talking about in today's video, which is investing into private real estate through Fundrise. Fundrise will allow you to invest into that private real estate that you're looking for, but also not be attached to the stock market when it comes to the fluctuations of the stock market. I'm gonna go over all the details that you need to know when it comes to investing into Fundrise. Fundrise didn't pay me to make this video, I'm simply making it because it's a actually a highly requested video and has been for some time now. I recently just started investing into Fundrise, so let's not waste any more time, let's get right into the video. Let's go. So the Fundrise platform allows you to invest into private real estate portfolios that they create and is managed all by them. So none of that is managed by you. All you simply have to do is invest your own capital, your own money into this particular platform and you'll be invested into those particular private real estate entities as things go on. The more money you invest into Fundrise, the more control you have over what you can actually invest when it comes to picking a different real estate or a different piece of real estate all across the United States. You can invest in Fundrise starting today with as little as $10. I originally remember when the platform first released, I believe you had to have around a $500 or a $1,000 initial investment to get started. But like I said, you can start today with as little as $10 and that's pretty much that. Like I said, also, the more money you put in, the more control you have over what exactly you can invest into. But overall, it's private real estate nonetheless. The Fundrise platform and real estate investing in general is looked at as a long-term investment. And by long-term, I mean at a minimum of five years. So you wanna have your money locked up or tied up for a minimum of five years when you think about real estate investing or think about investing into the Fundrise platform. So if you can't do that, then I would say stay stay on the sidelines for now and maybe invest into it when you feel as though or you feel comfortable enough to go ahead and lock this money up that you're going to be investing into this platform for a minimum of five years. Real estate investing is long-term investing. So don't expect to put your money in one day and get it out the next day while you made tremendous gains throughout the entire day process. You can't put your money in and receive massive gains within the next couple of weeks or maybe even the next couple of years. Before I go any further, let's actually jump into the Fundrise app and I can show you everything that's about. I can show you how much the fee structure is as well. And I also can show you how the tiers work when it comes to investing into private real estate, which honestly is a great idea and a great way to diversify your overall portfolio for the long term. So first things first, I'm going to show you guys the app. After I show you guys the app, I'll show you guys how the tiers and everything break down so you know exactly how much money you need to put in to overall change your portfolio and management to the way that you want it to be managed. Past that, we'll show you the fees or I'll show you the fees on how everything is going to be charged to you on a yearly basis. And then we'll pretty much give a closing statement, I guess you could say. Either way, let's get into the Fundrise app, Face ID, and we are in. So when you go ahead and sign up for Fundrise and make an account, pretty much this is what your main screen is going to look like. Right now, mine says $1,000, $1,051.63. Overall, when you start out, it'll say $0 up until you have put some money into your account. And you can add funds by simply going right there at the top right where it says add funds and simply clicking on that to add funds. As you go ahead though back, you can see this is the main page. So this is overall your main portfolio. You can set a goal here as well. And right now I'm, I am on the basic portfolio. We'll get into tiers in just a second, but right now just see, just know that I'm on the basic portfolio. You can see right here where it says create a goal. You can go ahead and create a goal for yourself if you want to. You can base that on income, retirement, a major purchase. Maybe you're buying a house or a car or something like that. Or maybe you're trying to have a wedding, who knows? Education, maybe you wanna pay down some student loan debt or overall make, spend, make some money for your overall kids or something like that in the long term and just generally build wealth. So you can make a goal for yourself and you can name it and then you can set a whole parameters up to how much money you need to go ahead and invest to overall reach that goal. So you can do that if you want to. I'm not gonna do that for the sake of this video, but you can if you want to. Scroll on down, you can see the overall account value and you can see right now I'm on the basic level of my account. Overall, I, there are other tiers, which we'll get into in just a second, but let's scroll down some more. They have spotlights where you can overall, they just give you basic information of other things that you can do. Nothing crazy, pretty much like a little news source where you can get more information. And below that, we have even more of that. 
when it comes to the news feed. Below the news feed, we have something known as account features. On here, you can see other things, like I said, and set that investment goal, and also start saving for a retirement because you can do that as an option on Fundrise as well, which we'll get into later in this video. And lastly, below that, this will be your account setup. I just had to designate a beneficiary and overall my account setup will be fully complete as they say. Past that, we scroll on over at the bottom. You can see the next tab over is the portfolio tab. So this is actually my portfolio when it comes to Fundrise and you can actually see all my investments, all my gains, all my losses, the appreciation, the advisory fees and the dividends. If we scroll on down, we can see that in the buy asset type, you can either see that in a percentage which you can see 100% of my money is in the growth real estate asset type, or you can go ahead and see that in dollars, which is $1,051.63. If we go ahead and click on that, we can see even more of a breakdown on how my money is managed and how it's separated across different property types, funds, and strategies. So we scroll on down, you can see 57% of my money right now is going into single family rental real estate. About 28% of my money is going into multifamily real estate and about 14, 15 roughly percent of my money is going into industrial real estate. If you go ahead and click on any of these, let's click on the industrial one for example, you can see this is the industrial real estate that my money is actually invested into. So 15% of my money is actually investing invested into a pool of money and that pool of money owns this particular real estate investment, which is um, an industrial real estate, uh, looks like a warehouse down there in Tempe, Arizona, or Temp, Arizona, uh, Atlanta, Georgia, Hanover, Maryland, which isn't too far from where I'm living right now, Sterling, Virginia, Sterling, Virginia, which also isn't too far from where I'm at right now, and a couple of other places as you can see right here. If we go on back, you can see the same thing goes for the single family rentals. So 57% of my money is going towards these particular properties. And overall, you make money on Fundrise by these properties increasing in value or overall making money from rental income from these properties, depending on which properties they invest in for you. We can also see these properties in a map view. If we go ahead and click on map view, it'll show you exactly where all the properties are located. The ones that are highlighted are the ones that I'm personally invested into. And like I said, it depends on the tier that you're in, but the tier that I'm in right now, the basic tier, Fundrise is investing all this on my behalf. All the money that I put into Fundrise is going to be invested to, into all these different properties on my behalf for this particular tier. The more money you invest, the more control over where exactly you want to invest your money into. So you can see we got some stuff in Arizona, like we mentioned before. Uh, we got some stuff down there in Mississippi. We got some Alabama, looks like some Florida, Georgia, South Carolina, Tennessee, and Kentucky from what it looks like. And overall, we did see some other stuff earlier and that was up in Jessup, Maryland, I believe, when it came to the industrial real estate. We head on over to the third tab. The third tab is known as the invest tab. As you can see right now, this is where you simply put in more money. Overall, I have $50 every single month going into my Fundrise portfolio. And every now and then I'll also add a little bit of money overall as a one-time investment to my Fundrise portfolio. So over time, I'm just consistently investing into it. You can also calculate your growth. You can create a goal. You can open that retirement account, a IRA, which we talked about in a previous video. And also Robinhood just add an IRA with a 1% match, which is pretty cool. So make sure you check that video out. It'll be linked right up there. And also invite friends. On the last tab, you can see is the news feed, which I mentioned before on the first tab. And this pretty much shows you just news feed talking about some of their investments that they may have made, like a new acquisition that they recently got back in Jacksonville, Florida. So just some things that Fundrise just presents to you as them, as yourself being an investor into Fundrise. Now let's go back overall to the main page and break down the overall account levels that come with investing into Fundrise because there's about five different account levels. And overall, once you get to a certain amount of money, I think you have the best control over your money when it comes to investing into Fundrise. As I mentioned before, you start off or you can start off investing into Fundrise with as little as $10. That initial $10 investment will get you started with Fundrise and you will overall have an account level of starter. That will be the starter account level. And with that starter account level, you're going to get dividend reinvestment. So all the money that you make from Fundrise will go back into Fundrise or back into your properties that you're invested into to make you even more money on the next payout when it comes to dividends. That'll also allow you to auto invest. So you can simply set up, set up an auto invest from your bank to go straight to Fundrise, great stuff. When it comes to 
managing goals and also creating goals for yourself in your Fundrise portfolio. The basic tier level, you have to have at least an account balance of $1,000 or more. With that $1,000 or more, you're gonna get everything I just mentioned, plus the ability to invest into a Roth or a traditional IRA that Fundrise offers to you if you wish to do that as well. On top of that, you'll have access to the Fundrise IPO when they actually do IPO on the stock market. You'll be able to buy those shares and invest into Fundrise before anybody in the public pretty much world or nuance can go ahead and do just that. But more overall, my most popular tier or the most popular tier that they mentioned is the core tier. With the core tier, you have to have at least a account balance of $5,000 or more. And this is where you can go ahead and do a customized portfolio strategy. That customized portfolio strategy allows you to go ahead and invest into other properties outside of the ones that Fundrise pretty much will just pick for you. You can go ahead and do a little bit on a little bit of your own investing, pretty much still Fundrise created portfolios, but you can pick where you want to actually go invest your money. And of course, with the advance and premium, which is $10,000 and $100,000 respectively, you'll get even more benefits on top of that. So my goal right now is honestly to get to the $5,000 account balance so I can overall invest into other properties on Fundrise that they don't select for me, but I can also choose for myself as well. With the core account level, also allows you to invest into non-registered products. These are pretty much e-REITs. And if you guys don't know what e-REITs are, it's pretty much the exact same thing as REITs, but they're on a private scale. So a REIT stands for a real estate investment trust. This is something that you can go ahead and a stock pretty much that you can go ahead and buy on the stock market that's publicly traded on the stock market that you can invest into that happens to read real estate. So say for example, I want to go ahead and invest into a real estate stock that's a REIT on the stock market. When it comes to an e-REIT, this is something that Fundrise handles on their own. This is a private real estate investment trust pretty much. And you can only invest with them using the Fundrise platform or maybe other platforms. But in particular, I only know of Fundrise, so I would only invest into one via Fundrise. Pretty much, you get the same exact benefits of having a REIT. You still make money from it, possibly if the account value goes up. And you also still get all the benefits when it comes to dividends. But the downside that you get with a REIT when it's on the stock market is that a REIT on the stock market may be impacted by what's going on in the stock market versus a e-REIT, which is privately owned pretty much by Fundrise and managed by Fundrise, might not have as much impact pretty much going on with whatever may happen with the stock market. So if the stock market is going way down, your e-REIT could be going up or staying about the same. With a regular REIT on the stock market, if the stock market overall is going down, then that regular REIT on the stock market is probably going down as well. So with an e-REIT, you simply just don't have to worry about any outside influence from the stock market, it might be a lot less versus a regular REIT that's on the stock market. But overall, pretty cool. Main thing you need to know is that a REIT is on the stock market, it's publicly tradable to pretty much anybody, and an e-REIT is not on the stock market and it's privately, privately traded pretty much via Fundrise. Overall, if you're investing with Fundrise, then you can expect to pay up to 1% every single year on your portfolio value. And that pretty much covers the advisory fee, the annual advisory fee, and also the annual asset management fee. So the annual asset management fee is up to 0.85% and the annual advisory fee is 0.15%. So you add both of those together, then that pretty much gives you 1%. So at maximum, you'll be a 1% charge on your portfolio value every single year for every thousand dollars that you have invested. So say for instance, you have $1,000 invested, they charge you a 1% fee that is going to be $10 charged throughout the entire year. And that'll come off of your overall portfolio value, I believe at the end of the year. I only have been using Fundrise for about four or five months now, so we'll find out. But overall, that's the gist of what I got from it and that's pretty much how it goes. And on top of that, if you wanna refer people to Fundrise, then you can also make money that way. Every referral counts for $25 or $50 respectively, depending on what tier you have. So if you guys wanna sign up with my link with Fundrise and start investing into some private real estate, then my link will be down below. And that'll overall, of course, provide a small kickback to the channel, pretty much a small kickback to the portfolio. Thank you very much if you wanna use it. You don't have to use my link by any means, just put it out there. And I think you also get a free $25 that you invest as well. So it's a benefit to you as well, just like it's a benefit to me. But like I said, you don't have to use it, it's completely up to you, but I'm just saying, just putting it out there. The last fee I do wanna mention, which I think is pretty cool, but also pretty expensive, but is the actual fee when it comes to retirement accounts on Fundrise. So this is actually a new feature with Fundrise. You can overall invest into a traditional or a Roth IRA with Fundrise. Make sure you check out these videos. There'll be some Roth and traditional videos linked right above there, and I'll give you the gist on the details of them. But overall, if you wanna invest into either one of these and allow yourself to have a real a retirement portfolio 
with solely just private real estate in it, which I think is pretty darn cool, then you'll be good to go with Fundrise. But that fee for that is going to be $125 every single year. If you want to go ahead and still sign up for that, you can. And overall, if you want that fee waived, you also can get that fee waived. There's two ways to get the retirement account fee waived, and that is by number one, you can either invest $3,000 in a single given calendar year. If you do that, the fee is waived for that particular one year. Or if you have an account value over $25,000, then as long as your account value is over $25,000, then that fee will be continuously waived every single given year. And like I said, I think it's pretty cool. Let me know what you think down in the comment section below. I don't know if I'm going to take advantage of it. I think I'm going to stick to the regular fund rise plan where you just, they just charge you up to 1% every single year and that be that. But like I said, if you want to invest into you know your retirement and have that be a real estate portfolio, completely all private real estate, which is overall pretty lucrative in the long term if you look at real estate charts in the past, then I think it's a good idea. I think it's pretty cool. It can be expensive, but overall, if you're investing into it like up to $3,000 or pretty much over $3,000 every single year, which doesn't sound like too bad, too much money, then you'll be okay. You don't have to worry about paying that fee at all. You still have to go ahead and pay that up to 1% fee regardless of whatever you're doing, but that's pretty much it. So just a regular fund rise portfolio that is up to 1% fee every single year when it, for every $1,000 you invest. And then for a retirement portfolio, you're gonna pay $125 every single year unless you get that fee waived on top of that 1% or up to 1% that you have to pay regardless. So up to you. I don't personally plan on using the retirement one, but for the regular portfolio, I definitely plan on sticking to it and continuously investing my money into some private real estate. This is the best way I personally think that you can get into private real estate without actually going out in the real world, I guess, and buying it yourself, which like I said, takes capital on your part. You gotta buy, you gotta get down payment, takes good credit on your part. You have to have good credit to overall get a nice property or just have a better loan and interest rate and all that kind of good stuff. So yeah, if you want to take all that paperwork and everything off the hands and let Fundrise do it and you, they just pay you and you just pay them a small fee, then by all means, I'll try it out. So pretty much I'll keep you guys updated with this portfolio probably once every single year because real estate doesn't jump that much when it comes to it. But I'll let you guys know as time goes on how the portfolio is doing. So just know that I got your back. You guys already know that I'm very transparent when it comes to my portfolios and my investing strategies. Overall, I'm just here to learn. We're all going to make mistakes. I'm not perfect by any means, but I'm just giving you another option of something that you can invest your money into to overall diversify yourself in this crazy world we're living in. So if you want to go ahead and get started with Fundrise, check out my link down below. It'll help you out. It'll get you a free $25 to get started with your investments. And that's pretty much it. That's Fundrise. I think it's pretty cool. I'm going to continue to use it. They don't pay me. They didn't pay me anything to make this video. I'm making it because it's a highly requested video. I've been talking about it for a while and I finally got on it. So here's me getting on it. Let me know what other content you'd like to see when it comes to investing in general, stocks, saving money, investing money, credit, credit cards. I got all that stuff coming, but let me know what you want to see and I can put it at the top of the list instead of, you know, being at the bottom and you guys got to wait a year or whatever to get to it. Either way, I'm going to stop rambling. I'm going to stop talking. I'll catch you guys in the next video. Thank you for watching this video. I'm out. Take care of yourselves. Stay safe. Stay positive. Stay hydrated. Dollar Mike. Peace.